Hey guys, today we have a review of portable Wi-Fi router which call from Alcatel company which called Alcatel Link Zone for GLT mobile Wi-Fi. So this device was created to insert a SIM card inside and share your Wi-Fi like from your uh, 4G LTE internet. So it can be convenient if you are traveling around or your house is out of optical connection or any ethernet connection so you can use this device quite simply and let's have a quick look how it works how it looks like and what's the speed for real so basically uh, let's look here in our box what uh, uh, what this Alcatel company promised to us so they promised 4G cat 4 up to 150 megabits uh, and Wi-Fi hotspot dedicated app and battery included 2.2 uh, 2, 2150 mAh. Um, okay, so many other information and we will have black one. So let's see. Let's see how it works. Okay, first of all, let's open it. So we have this Alcatel device here. It has four LED indicators like uh, battery, SMS, uh, Wi-Fi and connection to the internet. You have micro USB cable and two buttons. Turn on button and WPC button. WPS button, sorry. Uh, okay, let's open it here. And see what's inside. So inside we have Wi-Fi, SSD and password from it. Also, we have some information about model. You have information about uh, admin and password and how to connect to this uh, Wi-Fi. And here is SIM card, it's mini SIM card, not a micro SIM card. Uh, I've got my micro SIM card here, which I need some uh, something like this to make it bigger. Some transmitter, yeah. So yeah, let's move on with this one. What else we have inside the box? Um, we have some instructions here, some warranty card, uh, guide, like manual, how to use it. We have battery here, so it's quite heavy. So I trust that it is for uh, 2,000 mAh. Just regular battery, is the same as inside the phone. And we have a micro USB cable, just regular micro USB cable. For, okay, uh, and let's install a battery, it's like this. But before doing installing the battery, let's install the SIM card here inside. So let's put it that way. Oh, we need to open. Okay, now it's opened and then installing SIM card inside. It's quite not really convenient with this transmitter, but still fine. Okay, now done. Then insert the battery, hope it's charged. Close the uh, cover, the back side. Okay, so actually I think it's around less than 100 gram. It's quite portable, it looks much less than the phone but the battery they promise up to 10 hours so it's quite good let's try to turn it on whether battery is charged i have no idea all right we see all led now blue and i think we need to wait for a while uh, to make it work okay by the way you need to open the cover again there is password on the back uh, okay so opening the old way like old phone so I have SSD here and key. As far as I understood, we don't have that much battery, but okay, now it's on battery. Now we have signal, now we have Wi-Fi, but battery disappeared. I don't know, maybe battery uncharged. Let's see. Okay, Wi-Fi. Uh, what's the name? The name is uh, MW45V. So let's use this phone. Okay, now it disappeared. I think it's uncharged. So let me connect it to the network. Uh, and then let's see, one moment. So I'm back and I connected uh, the router to my power bank. So now it's powered on by a power bank, not by battery. Already entered uh, here Wi-Fi on this phone. So it's iPhone 11 
and I preliminarily did some tests. So the first test was uh, with a SIM card in iPhone. So I see my connection is quite poor because uh, it's blocking around. So right now my speed is around seven megabit per second. It's speed of the phone with the same SIM card as installed right now here. And upload is around three megabit per second. So now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi of uh, this uh, router device so I can make a test and compare the results. So let's see, uh, I will put it near the window as it was with my phone. So I'll do the same way because uh, walls are blocking around. So let me, let me give a second. So I'll put it here. Okay, I put my router near the window, the same uh, at the same place where I tested this phone. And now, uh, yeah, let's reconnect to Wi-Fi to this network. So you will see it. it's called M MW45V. So it's connected. And then speed test. Let's check it out. Uh, what's the speed difference? So pink we see a bit higher, but the speed is growing. So now we have around 17, yeah, 17 megabits download, even 18 comparing to five megabits with a, uh, with a phone, using the phone uh, module. And now let's see for the upload. So it's even higher than download. Okay, good. So it's around 21 megabit per second. Uh, as as the producer promised, it can be up to 150 megabits per second. Of course, not in my house because the walls are blocking uh, the network. But if we compare here, it, it was seven, compare it now 18. So it's almost twice higher than before for, uh, for download and for upload, it was three megabit per second. Now it's 21, so it's almost seven times higher. The results are really good. And let's go and talk about the price. The price of this uh, Alcatel Link Zone is around 60, like 50, 60 dollars. So it's quite good price, quite affordable. And I did mention about the bands that it supports. Uh, let me found here uh, what's supporting uh, UMTS 900. 2.1 megahertz, uh, FDDLT B1, 3, 7, 8, 20. So those two, this for 3G and for 4G. Uh, that's what they support. And also, let's try to enter the menu to manage it. Uh, okay, we move the website. Okay, we are here. So that's how it looks like. Let me change the language first. It's asking for, okay, we can change the language here to English, of course. And settings, admin is a password. And let's see what kind of settings do we have. We have Wi-Fi settings, so you can set a country, you can uh, change the bands, the password and protection level. Uh, login settings, profile management, so you can select which uh, profile would be used for your network, uh, pin code settings, connection mode, so you have automatic or manual, network mode, the same, advanced settings, so just AP address, oh, uh, diagnostics and about, yeah, so that's it. Also, you have SMS, you have usage. So how many megabytes have you used for this time? And just basic information, it's battery charged. So see it's uncharged. A connected devices, it can be up to 30 devices, as I remember, or less. Let me check on a box uh, what, uh, what they promise. Uh, okay, they didn't indicate it here, but as I remember, it's around 30. And also you see uh, the time it's running and the network that used and the uh, current coverage. So basically, I would recommend to buy this thing because of price. Price is good. You, you see the, twi uh, the double the speed, all, even more than double. So it's also convenient if you live somewhere outside or you have some countryside house. So your coverage will improve. 
And then you can also connect uh, as many devices as possible. I think 30 devices is more than enough. Uh, basically, that's it. Thank you for, for watching. Uh, leave the thumbs up below and see you next time.